Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can visualize our Microsoft list. So without further ado, let's get started. Here you can see the list that we were working with together. Now, in order to visualize, what we need to do here is we need to click here on Integrate and then go to Power BI and click on Visualize the List. Now, again, I would say it is up to us if we want to pre-select the data or we want Power BI to create a list for us. So here we can see that the following list is being generated by Power BI. Now we can go to edit. And then here on the bottom, we can create page two. Let's say I would like to create pie chart of destination. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click pie chart and then I will be dropping it here and then you can define the size of it. Now, let's click here on the data and now here I would like to show travel destination. Just need to click on it and now let's drag it to values which going to count and here with color code we can also see which place being visited how many times now we can always customize this visualization uh, by going to format visualization now let's say i do not want legend but in this particular case i did it now here you can also edit title and then from here you can define the color for example in case of new york i want to define red as a color and then you can also define rotation totally up to you now let's also go to general and then here in properties again which give you option to customize the size of it and then position padding in position you can define position of this whole chart then if you would like to add padding especially useful in case when we add multiple charts here and so on now again let's go back here to visual let's say you further want to drill down this data field here and we can click on travel destination and then since we do not know this unknown destination i can hide it so i only can keep these data here in order to select multiple data you obviously need to press control and like this we can customize it now let's say you do not like this style you always can change the chart type this time we have selected donut style and then we have got these multiple styles of charts have level and let me also add a department here and then let's choose column as a type now again i'm gonna place this data on x-axis and count of department on y now here we go here we can see we have created this visualization in form of bar column now this whole thing i would say is interactive so what does this mean uh, for example if i click here on hr here on this another chart i can see hr has visited san francisco and new york so in this way guys you can also create ask a question which is really useful if the database is too big by using ask a question you're going to make it more interactive now let me again click on file and save this report and then here you can give this report a name i'm gonna give list visualization let me click on publish and now our list is ready now let's close this again we are back in our microsoft list if i again go here and integrate power bi i should able to see my recently created visualization so in this way guys we can create visualization inside sharepoint list i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye